Hey guys, this is Nick from BunBonsai.com, and before I get started, I want to tell you about my book. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then go to the link above at BunBonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now, to get into the topic at hand, what are outdoor bonsai? Well, bonsai trees and plants are basically trees and plants that are pruned and trimmed which keeps their size minimal. The trees and plants relish the practice because they get a lot of care and attention and have a lifespan similar or even greater than, in some cases, their wild counterparts. There are bonsai that are like over 100, 200, 300 years old. It is insane. Go look it up. It's crazy. You can make these things family heirlooms. So outdoor bonsai can be bought from almost anywhere in the world. And the increase in their popularity has seen a large increase in a number of specialty shops dedicated to the growing and caring of bonsai. Now, outdoor bonsai can be grown in a small area in your garden. As long as you probably take care of it and get the correct species for your area, you won't really have to worry about it being outside. Some of the most healthy bonsai are outdoor bonsai. I mean, they are trees after all. However, it's important that you attempt to buy outdoor bonsai from a shop close to home, which will help ensure that your plant, you know, your bonsai, can deal with the conditions that you're going to force it to endure. If you live in a baking hot state like Arizona and are considering buying over the internet, then you shouldn't be purchasing a bonsai from a cold climate country as there's a good chance it will not thrive if you make it an outdoor bonsai. Now, do outdoor bonsai need less care than indoor bonsai? Well, just because you're growing your bonsai in a small area of your garden doesn't mean you should forget or indeed can't, you know, it doesn't mean you should forget it. I mean, you can forget it, but you shouldn't. Don't forget about them, and don't ex just expect them to maintain their miniature height, uh, or maybe they just stop growing. Maybe they keep growing, and it's not miniature anymore, or maybe it stops growing. You can't just expect it to take care of itself. Bonsai is an involved art form. Now, an untrimmed and uncut bonsai will cease to be a bonsai and will simply become a freaking tree, presuming there's room for the roots to grow. If there's not room for the roots to grow, it's a dead tree. That's what it is. It's not a mini tree, it's a dead one. It's amazing exactly where your roots will dig into. They'll oftentimes find a way through or around concrete, rocks, or even other plants and trees, so be careful where you plant it. If you're growing your outdoor bonsai in a pot, which is normal, the normal and a sensible way to do it, then never bring it indoors. Now, there are cases where you do have to bring your bonsai indoors, but that deals with research. There's like times of the year when some things can be uh, an outdoor bonsai and there's times when it needs to be an indoor bonsai but that is not the default the default is an outdoor bonsai is an outdoor bonsai so make sure you do your research before you bring it inside you can kill it so no matter how unwell it looks it will definitely not enjoy the sun change and conditions very true even the most healthy and hardy of outdoor bonsai can only withstand 24 hours possibly 48 hours at the very most, indoors as a centerpiece. Again, we're talking about true outdoor bonsai here. So it's extremely important to remember this. Don't bring an outdoor bonsai indoors for longer than 24 hours every season. Taking your bonsai in during the winter and putting it next to a blazing hot heater is undoubtedly going to scorch the leaves and roots. Your bonsai will most likely die from lack of water, dehydration. Vice versa is also true. Bringing a bonsai in from the heat and leaving it next to an AC unit is the equivalent of shock frost in the middle of the summer you're just going to kill your bonsai so don't kill your bonsai assume an outdoor bonsai is an outdoor bonsai unless you can do your research and even then you have to be careful bringing it in because it's a sudden shock and you can't put it close to a heater you can't put it close to a ac and the only reason why you would do it is if you uh, researched it very well and it's a special situation so that's the end of this video i will be making more and I hope that this helps you. See you next time.